Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In one of my previous videos, I'd shown you how to create an inventory management app in Google App Sheet. The two part video where I show you how to create an inventory management app. And in that you can add inventory, you can add stock, you can get your sales and we've used some automation slices and stuff like that. So in that video, we used automation in a different way that was using the internal automation that is present in Google App Sheet, right? If I go here again, you can, you can automatically send emails. But in this video, we're going to be doing something different. In this video, uh, we're going to be using Google App Script and Google App Sheet together. So Google App Script is a cloud based JavaScript language that is used to interact with Google Workspace. And like you can use libraries to carry out different stuff in Google Workspace, like Google Sheets, Google Docs. You can check out my channel. That's basically what I do. So you can check those videos out too. And um, yeah, so in this video, we're going to be using Google App Sheet to send out emails as soon as a new inventory or a new product has been added to the inventory, right? So basically, I'll just go through the app once. So this was the app that we created. And um, if you need a recap of that, I'll be leaving the video link in the description. You can check that out. And if you don't, if you want maybe a readable version, I have written a two part article on that. That's published on Medium. So you can check that out too. And it shows you step by step how to create the inventory management app. And uh, yeah, so this was the inventory. This is where you can see all the uh, inventory that you have in your like, like the like all the products that you have in inventory, right? So this was the this is where all your um, products are there. This is the inventory. Then if you go to add stock, you can add the uh, can add more inventory. And um, this this is the view where uh, it shows the products that require uh, restock, right? So that is this we, we have done this using slices and um, in the end we have a sales button where you make sales in your app and this gets recorded and stuff like that so basically this was the app i won't be going into the depth of this app if you want you can check out the video link in the description you can check that out right so let's just move forward and i'm going to be showing you the google sheet that i'm going to be using if you want to work with the google sheet i'll be leaving the sheet link in the description you can check that out and um, yeah so basically this is the google sheet that contains the data and i want to interact with this inventory sheet and whenever a new item is added here, I, I basically want them to um, send me an email saying new product has been added to your inventory. These are the details of the product, like maybe the product name. Maybe I wanted to display the product name, the category maybe, and the initial stock of the product, right? So let's just dive in into the Google Apps script part of this. So I'm going to go and click on a new project here. And I'm just going to script.google.com. And I'm going to be opening a new function here. That's going to be saying main. And inside this, I'm going to be passing the product variable. That's going to be the product. That's going to be the name of the product. Then I'm going to be saying category. And then I want the initial stock. Right. So this is this is where I created function. This function main is accepting three parameters. And we're going to be I'm going to be showing you how to accept parameters from the app, which is very amazing that the, the that the folks of at google app sheet have done so um yeah so this function accepts three parameters i'm just going to go ahead and get the sheet first so i'm going to be doing sheet underscore id i'm going to be getting the link of the sheet right i'm going to be getting the id so we can interact with it i'm going to just go here and just before the slash edit you need to take the link i'm going to be opening two posts i'm pasting this here and after this, I'm going to be getting the spreadsheet, right? Spreadsheet dot get active spreadsheet. Or no, in this case, since it's going to be a link, we're going to be using the spreadsheet app, but we're going to be doing open by ID. And inside this, I'm going to be passing the sheet ID. And after which I want to get the specific sheet, right? I want to just solely, or I just want to interact with the inventory Google sheet. So I'm going to do constant sheet. I'm going to be doing ss.getsheet by name and inside this I'm going to be saying I'm going to copy the name exactly even if you have any spaces in your sheet you need to make sure you copy them out properly and this is how we have got the sheet and um, after this I'm going to be declaring the email body and don't worry the code you maybe don't understand the code I'll be leaving that the, the code link in the description you can copy that and get started with your work so I'm just going to do const body and inside this i'm going to be starting out with details this is going to be just the body of the details of the new product i'm going to be adding a break here i'm 
right and um, after this i'm going to go down here i'm going to be saying i'm going to say product name do this and here i'm going to be adding the product variable that we're accepting from the uh, app i'm going to copy this here Enter. I'm going to be doing a category spaces here. I'm going to be and here once again I'm going to be adding the name. I mean I'm going to be using the variable that we're accepting. This is going to be category. Paste this again and in the end I'm going to be doing initial stock and I'm going to be initial stock variable. Here I'm going to paste this and, and end it with the semicolon, right? So here we have declared the sheet, uh, we, we have taken the sheet ID, we have got the spreadsheet, we have opened the specific sheet and we have declared the email body, right? So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting the email address that we need to send it to, right? So I'm going to name this as uh, target underscore email. And in this, I'm going to be doing session. I'm going to be using the sessions where you get an active user and then you can get the get the email of the user, right? So I'm going to be doing this. And after this, I'm going to be declaring the email subject. Right? And um, in the email subject, I'm just going to say new product. Add it to the inventory. And after this, we're going to be using the mail app. To send the email to the user so we're going to, so this the e, the mail app dot send email has three parameters you need to pass the target email then you need to pass the subject and in the end you need to pass the html body that's going to be there you need to pass like this and i'm going to, I'm going to be passing the body variable here right so here we are i think our code is ready and good to go so let's now just go ahead and save this i'm going to say send email underscore inventory right i'm going to click on save and your project is ready and i think your, your code is ready and good to go so let's now go back to our app so this is our google app sheet app here and um, so what i'm going to be doing is going to go to automation i'm going to click on a new bot i'm going to say Send email for the inventory. You click on enter. We're going to be configuring the event. So now we need to specify the event that is the time at which the bot needs to execute the process. So I'm just going to name this uh, event name check for new product. And in this, I want a data change, but I just want a adds only data change. What if the user add updates or deletes something? So I don't want them to send an email that time. So it's just going to be adds only. And the table that I'm going to be using is going to be inventory because this is going to be contain the new products and stuff like that. Right. And the condition, I have no conditions for now. If you want, you can have an event icon and stuff like that. I'm not going to be going into that. After the, after we specify the event, we're going to be going ahead and clicking on add step where I'm going to be creating a custom step. And in this, I'm going to be saying create a new task. Inside this, I'm going to be saying send email to user, right? I'm going to be clicking on uh, call a script. So in this case, if you call a Google app script, you need to select the call a script feature. Then you need to select the table name and then we need to specify the Google app script project. And this one's going to be send email underscore inventory. It's going to be this one. I'm going to click on select, right? And you can see here few seconds this will load up so since we have not already executed this piece of code we need to first authorize this so you need to go to your google accounts you need to sign in so when you go here you need to click on advanced you need to go to the email this and you need to, to allow because it's going to be getting data from your spreadsheet and it's going to be sending an email to you right the script will be executed as your email address next we need to select the function and as soon as I select the function, you can see it is asking for a function parameter. So this is how we're going to be passing parameters inside the function. So now if I go to the product, I'm going to be selecting the columns one and uh, this is going to be the product name. I'm going to insert and I'm going to click on save. I'm going to go to category. I'm going to go to columns. I'm going to be clicking on the category of the product. Click on save. I'm going to be going to initial stock. I'm going to be clicking on initial stock. Click on save. Right. I'm going to go ahead and click on save here and your bot is ready. 
it shows us an error since the app is deployed is not deployed bots will deliver this yeah so since your app is not deployed it's going to be sending an email to yourself but um, if your app is deployed it it's going to be sending it to the user who uh, who is adding the new product to the inventory right so i think we're good to go uh, i'll be just opening my email here i'm going to keep it ready and uh, let's just go and check it out if the code works i'm going to click on new product i'm going to just put a barcode i'm just going to give something and uh, we need to think of a product name so how about some shaving or maybe a trim right and not specified the category and if i go to category it's going to be personal care right and inside the images one i'll have to download a trimmer image so trimmer and go to images and i think i'm going to take this one i'm going to just save this image trimmer actually i click on save and i'm going to go back to my app and I go here, I'm going to click on this trimmer, I'm going to open this out. You see the image has successfully come in. The initial stock is going to be 20. The restock level is going to be say 10. I'm going to change the restock level to 50. Right, and I'm just going to go, go ahead and click on save. And I'm going to refresh the app now. And here you can see as soon as I go, go and refresh my email, I can see a new product added to your inventory. Details of the product, product name trimmer, category personal care, initial stock 50. So here you can see our Google app, app script code has successfully worked. But in the bigger picture, you could have you, you can see how you can combine Google app sheet and Google app script together to form something powerful, right? So this is all for this video. I hope you understood how to combine Google app script with Google app sheet. Uh, I'll be leaving the code link and the Google sheet link in the description. You can check that out. And um, if you want to learn how to make an inventory management app in Google App Sheet, I'll be leaving those. I'll be leaving the blog link and the video series link in the description. You can check that. Also, if you want a complete course on Google App Sheet, I have previously given trainings at O'Reilly where I've been where I taught how to create app Google App Sheet, and I'll be leaving that link in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share, and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I will see you in the next video.